welcome back to my channel it is Catherine. if you're new here i do a lot of vlogs i go to Rutgers, and i'm in college right now today we're gonna do a Rutgers pros and cons video which i wasn't sure if i wanted to film but when i was going to Rutgers, i looked for tons of videos and i really couldn't find much on Rutgers. So I thought this might be helpful to people, incoming freshmen especially. So we're gonna start with the pros. Rutgers was not my first choice school, but honestly, the pros outweigh the cons. When I was writing this yesterday, like I had all of these pros and I literally only had a couple of cons. I added some more, like after really thinking about Rutgers, but um, Rutgers is a really good school and the first point is money. Money-wise, if you live in New Jersey, in-state tuition, amazing definitely more affordable than lots of private schools in new jersey also if you do choose to commute you're saving a lot on dorm dorming dorm all that stuff even if it's not your top school you can then use that money you're saving to maybe do a master's or a program at a different school the second pro is that there's lots of good food options at Rutgers. this is both like within the campus and outside of the campus i go to Rutgers, new brunswick probably should have said that before. I did not have a meal plan. I heard Libby Dining Hall was the best. I don't know if that's true or not. I can't really attest to that because I never tried it, but the food options in general on all campuses I thought were great. There's just really good options like for whatever you want. There's Kilmer's Market. I know on Libby, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. There's a Dunkin', there's frozen yogurt, there's Cadoba. I don't know if I'm saying that right either. And then on Bush, there's a Panera, I think there's pizza, there's like a bakery type place where you could get like coffee, really anything you want. I've never been on Cook Doug, so I can't tell you what's on there, but College Ave has tons of options, both like right on College Ave and then outside of College Ave, which is really nice. My favorite places to go were Honey Grow, there was Crispy Pizza, there's like Jersey Mike's, Are You Hungry, Panera, Wendy's, all of that stuff. But I also loved it because if you literally just walk a block or two, there's Taqueria, there's Insomnia Cookies, there's just literally so much. There's Surreal Creamery, there's really nice restaurants if you go more like downtown New Brunswick. Rutgers just has a lot of options. I know some of my friends came back from school and they were like, there's barely any food options. That's really not something at Rutgers. Next pro is that the train station is literally right on College Ave, which is so nice. It's a literally so nice because you could go to the city, you could go to Philly, if for any reason you need to go to like Edison, Secaucus, I'm trying to think, Metuchen, if you're going to see a concert at the Prudential Center, like that is so nice to have. That's something, even though I don't live on campus, I use that train station so much. And there were days where right after class, I would just go to the train and go into the city. And again, if you wanna see a concert, it makes it super accessible. The next pro is that there is tons, and I literally mean tons of opportunities to get involved in whatever you want to get involved with. The number of clubs at Rutgers is insane. And I know like all schools have clubs, but the people leading these clubs are literally awesome. The first club I joined my freshman year, literally my first week of college, and it was awesome. I did like a student ambassador program through them. And then that led to my first internship. And I know that there's lots of people that had similar experiences. They got their first internship from a professor or advisor within the club. There's opportunities to actually teach classes like as an upperclassman. So I was in a seminar my first semester and my instructor was a senior and she was so chill and she, also helped me get involved in those clubs and internships and stuff. Tons of research opportunities as well. And then Rutgers is known for some of their like programs also. So one of the most popular ones in the business school is the Road to Wall Street, which is something I will not be participating in because I really have no interest in that sector of business, which is fine. But then there's also Road to Industry. I'm actually in that. There's tons of different categories. So there's business, there's hospitality, there's STEM, science, and it kind of pairs you up with like mentors within that group and they lead you all four years helping you get internships and stuff like that. 
There's the Douglas Women's College. One of my close friends is in that. She loves it. There's tons of other programs that I probably don't even know about, especially in like the sciences and STEM and computer science, like that aspect I'm not that well versed in. Going off of that, you have an awesome alumni network and just network of professors and students at Rutgers. I've been able to reach out to alumni and I talk to them about internships they did that I am like interested in. I just talk about their job, if they like the industry. And that's so nice to have. And a lot of times people that go to Rutgers want to help other people that have gone to Rutgers or are at Rutgers. So that's just awesome. And your professors will be amazing. For intro to media, I had a professor who was like on the board of trustees for Sesame Street, which I thought was just so cool. And she had taught at all of these cool places. She did research, she had published research and she was like well recognized and I got to learn from her and I thought that was so cool. For writing for media, one of my teachers before teaching was like on a TV show for baking, which I thought was so cool and like traveled the country. And I think he also did like journalism aside from teaching. So he was like publishing stuff as well. Okay, the next pro is there is lots of good traditional football at Rutgers. If that's something you want in a school and you're considering between like a city school or Rutgers and like it's a make or break, like go to Rutgers. Football is a huge deal. Like literally every Saturday or whenever the games are, everyone, you know, I think you know what they do. Like they have the tailgating, the student section is really fun to be in and it's just so fun. And that's something that I know a lot of people don't even have at their school and they're like, wow, I wish I had that. So it does make me super grateful to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to the football game this Saturday. And I don't know, it's just cool. There's also lots of other sports that we're pretty known for. I think like our soccer team, also basketball, what am I saying? Um, Rutgers basketball is also pretty well known. We did well this year, I think. I didn't get to go to a game, but those games are just so fun. And also it's so easy getting involved in sports. There's tons of intramural sports. I can't say that word. Like I just did figure skating for fun and you don't even have to compete or anything. I was gonna do gymnastics also cause I did that when I was younger, but I ended up not with my schedule, but it's just so fun to do. And everyone just wants to like help and learn from each other. The next pro is Greek life and parties. If you want Greek life and parties to be part of your social life, you definitely can make that happen. I personally do not. That is not something I wanted when I went to college, I knew I wasn't gonna join Greek life and I don't party that much. But if that's something you want, Rutgers is great for that. There's all the fraternity and sorority houses on College Ave. There's tons of parties. So if you want that, you totally are able to do that. If you want more of a like professional frat, I think that's what it is. Like career oriented, like there's business frats. I think there's STEM, stuff like that, nursing. That'll like help you within the field so those are also cool to join if you want to do that but it's also nice because you can have this huge social life but if that's something you're totally not into or you just want to be on your own be independent you can do that too like no one's going to force you to go out um at least in my experience no one's forced me to go out you definitely will get invited people will be like oh come or whatever and if you say no like no one's gonna do anything like it's fine okay, we have two more pros so the next pro is studying abroad Rutgers has some really really awesome study abroad opportunities I don't know I feel like the ones Rutgers offers is so cool there's opportunities where you could go to different countries throughout the entire semester they have opportunities to do internships in other countries during the summer anywhere you can think of traveling Rutgers has an option I also know that there are programs like semester at sea which I really was wanting to do but I don't think I'll be able to that Rutgers evaluates the classes you could take and tells you okay these will count for credit these won't being in the business school it is a little more difficult because there are some classes that are required to be taken on campus but that's not to say that studying abroad is impossible if you have the opportunity definitely look into that plan that out and this is the last pro there are probably many other pros i didn't think of but this was a big one for me. If you decide to do dual enrollment in high school, which is when some high schools give the opportunity for you to take classes that count for credit at your community college. So you pay for that course and you're enrolled at the community college while you're in high school. And afterwards you just get credit for it. If you decide to go to that college, Rutgers actually accepts transfer credits from like dual enrollment programs. So I think I had 16 
or 17 dual enrollment credits and I wasn't planning on going to my community school but Rutgers actually accepted those so about like five classes that I just don't have to take which is so nice that fulfilled some of my core classes some of it was just fulfilled for graduation and if I had decided to go to the other top schools I was considering they wouldn't have accepted those so very nice of records to do now we're moving on to the cons so the first big con which i think if you talk to anyone at Rutgers, they'll say the same are the buses the buses are really annoying since Rutgers is a huge school all of like the classes and pretty much at the same times which means you have hundreds of students gathered at bus stops right when class ends and you have to wait for a bus it could be anywhere from like 10 minutes to like 30 minutes. It's especially worse on, I think, College Ave and Livy. What I would do to avoid this though is during that time where I'd be waiting for the bus, I'd go grab lunch, I'd do work, whatever, so I'm not just standing there waiting doing nothing. If you have classes back to back on different campuses, I would just panic. Even if you do catch a bus, you're going to be squished. Like you're standing or sitting with all these people around you and it's really annoying when it's raining or when it's snowing because it's just muggy and gross. I would go on the bus at least an hour before my class started because I wanted to take into account the stops. I wanted to take into account, okay, the walk to class from the bus stop. Like it's a lot. So having all of your classes on one campus just makes it so much easier. The next con I put under like the category of safety and crime. Not that New Brunswick is totally unsafe, but there are definitely parts that are safer than others. The main College Ave area I would say is pretty safe. There were days where I would be walking around like 11 o'clock or midnight at night by myself and I felt completely safe, especially if it's the night of a party, a lot of people or just walking and it's pretty lively, but you do just wanna be safe, you know? There was one time where I came back from New York at night and I was by myself and I was waiting for the bus stop. You also wanna take into consideration at night, the buses don't run as frequently as during the day, depending on the day of the week. So if you miss the bus, you'll probably have to wait like 15, 20 minutes. That's what I had to do. And you just want to be alert at night in the area, especially like near the yard. There are areas though I wouldn't walk by myself at night. Even going to the train station, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable doing that by myself at night. That's just me personally though. I know a lot of people commute at night and stuff, so it may not be that big of an issue. We do get a lot of like safety, crime updates in our emails saying they're were attempted like robberies stuff like that so just be prepared for that not that that's going to happen to you i know this year there was lots of alerts about the livingston parking lot which i parked on um of people trying to like break into cars and stuff like that but honestly though as long as you're aware and alert like there's nothing to worry about i would definitely say though college ave is the campus where i try to be the most aware Livingston I feel like is pretty good because it's pretty closed in and I feel like it's mostly just students and professors so I feel pretty comfortable parking my car there and stuff. In Bush and Douglas I can't really talk about as much because I don't go there as much. The next con, this could be a pro or a con depending on how you see it but you will see a lot of people from school, your high school, especially if you are from Central Jersey or Jersey at all. I know most of my high school class ended up going to Rutgers so you're gonna see a lot of people there. I put this under con because a lot of people I talk to considered it a con but honestly I don't mind it. I like seeing people I know. I think it's cool being able to catch up with them. One of my very close friends goes to Rutgers too from high school so it's awesome seeing her but there are definitely days where I you know am showing up to class in like leggings and a sweatshirt and my hair is a mess and I see someone from high school and I'm like oh my gosh, why do they have to see me like this? I promise I'm not crazy. So it's in those moments where I'm like, oh, I kind of wish I didn't see people from high school. I've also heard a lot of people just wanting like a fresh start to start over without knowing anyone. But honestly, it is really nice because you'll see someone you know in a class or in a club or whatever. It's not like you're completely alone. So that's, that's a positive. The next con is also kind of like take it as you want but it gets so cold in the winter and i am from the northeast like i'm from jersey i know how cold it gets but you don't really understand how cold it is until you're walking from class to class and waiting for the bus and walking to your car and like waiting for your car to defrost it's 
it's a lot um and there were definitely times where i was walking in the cold thinking like why did i not go to school in florida i could be sitting in front of a pool right now i could be getting tan and there are definitely days where it gets just so bitterly cold and you're like i don't know why i chose fuckers but honestly those moments don't last too long next i can't talk about this that much but from what people have told me dorms i know first and second year dorms typically aren't the nicest best dorms and like other schools it's based on like senior status i think i don't think the dorms had ac honestly i don't even know if they did or not i just put this under a con because i feel like for most schools dorms are a con but as you get older i know like the livy apartments and college avenue apartments are so nice next is also similar to other schools your required classes you have to take i know especially for business this is an issue get filled up so quickly like other schools like i said this isn't something specific to Rutgers, but there are classes you have to take that will get filled up and it can be annoying because people get to choose their classes based on amount of credits so i came in already with a lot of credits so i was able to pick ahead of the other freshman class but there were people that you know came in with zero credits and they couldn't even get their required courses that they just needed for pre-business and a lot of people complain about not getting professors that they want because of like classes filling up but a lot of times you may not even be able to get the class you want for a semester or two so just plan accordingly don't wait to do all of your pre-business or like major requirements right before you have to get them done because you may not be able to get those classes. The next con, um, this also could be seen as a pro depending on just what you like, is that classes are huge. Obviously as you get into your major they get smaller but especially the introductory business classes, intro to macro, intro to micro, calc, stat, those are huge classes. It could be really easy to get lost and end up failing. Honestly, I don't mind large classes. I actually enjoy large classes a lot. If you don't like large classes, then that's something to consider definitely. Because with Rutgers being a state school and with there being so many kids, you can't really have like only 30 or 40 kids in calc, like that doesn't work. And the last con is a little more specific to my situation, commuting. I can make a whole video just about commuting, which I actually might do because I have a lot to say on that, is that it can be hard to make friends if you commute, whether or not you commute actually. I talked to lots of people that were just not able to find a group of friends that they clicked with and a lot of girls I know actually went from dorming to commuting because they just didn't like being on campus all the time. And then just commuting, it's definitely hard making friends because I feel like you don't even have that opportunity to connect with a roommate. But there's so many nice people in your classes. A lot of times I just had to go out of my way and be like, hey, do you want to like get lunch or something like that? Because otherwise you won't really make friends and clubs and stuff like that are a great way to get involved but they do meet really late, which is a con I actually forgot to add. Clubs do meet really late, so if you're commuting, that could be an issue. Yeah, it could be hard to make friends. It's not impossible though. Everyone I've met has been really nice. There are a couple people that just were not, um, and that's okay too, because that's life. You're gonna meet people that don't wanna talk to you or don't wanna hang out, which is okay. For me, that wasn't a huge issue because I like being independent and I've always liked just doing things on my own so it's not that big of an issue but it can be hard when you see people in other schools or your friends from high school just like hanging out with all their new friends which you're just like happy for them because they're having a blast but it can be hard because you're like i don't have that same type of like new friendships okay guys that is all for this video i hope you liked it i really had a fun time making it if you have any more questions about Rutgers, feel free to comment anything or video ideas you want me to do. I'll, I'm open to doing pretty much anything. So this was Rutgers pros and cons. I hope you liked it. Definitely check out my college weeks in my life, my stats video, my college decisions, all of that stuff. Bye.